Hi everybody, it is the 5th of October 2022 and the patch notes for PUBG update 20.1 dropped earlier on today. So let's delve into what will be available on the PC test server right now and we'll be coming to public PC and console servers over the next few weeks. Now there is a video, I'm not going to play this, I'll uh, put a link in the description below uh, this video so that you can click on the patch notes yourself and, and watch it but it kind of summarized most of the main points um, and here we go so on uh, so the live maintenance schedule the times below are subject to change so for PC we're looking at going live from October the 11th uh, to October the 12th and on console we are looking at uh, from October the 19th to October the 20th or depending on your time zone in your part of the world map service so on the test server there'll be Erringel, Deston and Karakin um, with probably just squad and then when we go live server um, in North American Europe you have this rather interesting statement now I think this will be rolled back here in this update Deston will be replacing Miramar in normal matches now miramar i know it's not our favorite map but it is probably one of the better maps in daisy uh, in pubg um so that means the normal map rotation will now be erringel deston tego sanhok and karakin hmm. interesting isn't it <laughs> you do th I, I i do kind of wish they would just go with the best maps which i guess would be what would it be it would be erringel miramar uh, I would have Vikendi in there. Now, I know I enjoy old Vikendi way more than new Vikendi, but I still think it's okay. Um, you've got to have the, you've got to have Deston and Tego in there, haven't you? Because they're new and we've got to play them, haven't we? Um, and I would have, I, for, I forget the name, you know, the volcano map? I would definitely have the volcano map before I had Karakan. And in fact, I would also probably have that small map with the AI in it as well. That I can't remember the name of that either. Shows you out of touch I am and I forget. So interesting. Anyway, please keep in mind the features and updates shown below may be modified or even possibly removed due to reasons such as bugs, in-game issues and our community feedback. Also, the image shown below are provided as visual guidelines. They may look different in the actual game as builds are continuously developed and fixed before they go live. So gunplay, balancing weapon attachments and vehicle gameplay this patch along with a reticle option update for the four time scope at last. So what we're seeing here is, is various adjustments. So with the front thumb grip, vertical recoil control is going up to 8%, ADS speed uh, up to 40%, sway control uh, is at 20%, the angle four grip is getting better, horizontal recoil control, control by a little bit, and better sway control um, and the vertical foregrip is getting um, they're removing sway control from it so basically the ver if they, they say it here the vertical foregrip shows strong performance and received much love from our players which is quite obvious as the attachment definitely helps control vertical recall and accuracy when firing at long range however we didn't want to sustain a meta where everyone uses the same attachment are repeating similar combat styles every match therefore we decided to buff other attachments based on their individual unique traits we will of course continue to monitor your plays after this balance update and make sure we're providing more options and room for possible tactics moving forward additionally we've also noticed that the current in-game terms of the attachments features such as weapon steadiness could be much clearer so we're planning to polish up some of the terms very soon i think what they're really going after here is that they want to reduce the ability for especially pc players and i guess the, i mean console players are to be able to automatic fire at long ranges aren't they with ars so you won't be able to have an ar burst because we you know we know that an assault rifle burst if you can if you can use a four times or a six times and, con and control the recoil which many many people can do now um, you can kill people incredibly quickly at, at, at long range and in a way that isn't as risky as when you use a bolt action rifle or even a DMR, uh, a semi-auto, because you just brrrr, and you know, and and they're dead. You've just got that ability to control the recoil. So maybe they're building more recoil. Well, I think I think that really is the answer. Is you have to build more recoil into the guns. Um, 
and then try and balance that against people being able to control that recoil. Anyway, let, let's see what happens. Now, this is an interesting one. Firing from vehicles. Using vehicles to fight enemies has great merits and is a lot of fun. You can move so much faster and find yourself being able to hurl relatively stable shots at enemies running for their lives barefoot. So we've received lots of feedback from players facing major disadvantages on foot, such as getting barraged by a horde of ammo when moving from moving vehicles and ending up dying too fast. Therefore, after many tests on in-vehicle recoil control and thoughts on how we could reduce these one-sided situations in a healthy direction, we've decided to balance vehicle gameplay as the following based on your feedback. So, when you're in the driver's seat, reloading handguns will be instantly cancelled if the driver controls the vehicle's steering wheel. Therefore, players can reload the handguns when the vehicle is moving in a single direction only. Handgun reload duration of the vehicle has increased by approximately half. Handgun recoil has increased by approximately 20%. But the recoil update only applies to PC. Dev comment. Since players in the vehicle driver's seats are able to reload handguns while driving and receive considerable protection from the vehicle at the same time, one-sided combats were quite common against vulnerable players on foot. Therefore, we decided to make these balance updates to, to firing from moving vehicles. So, if you're in a passenger seat, weapon recoil increased by approximately 10% to 20%. This recoil own, update only applies to PC. Dev comment. A vehicle with fewer passengers naturally has greater disadvantages when it's attacked by a full packed vehicle. It's also difficult to flee from combat due to similar movement speed among most, most vehicles. So we've added a slight nerve to the passenger seat. It's interesting, I don't think it's enough. I think it should be incredibly difficult to, to hit someone when you're in a moving vehicle, but it should be much, much easier for someone who's not in the moving vehicle to hit you, you know, because they, they can be standing there, they could lean up against a tree, they could kneel down, they could get their weapon in a very steady manner and then aim and track. Whereas if you're in a car bouncing along, especially off-road, there's no way you can hit, the, you can hit the, a barn door with an assault rifle. I don't think they've gone far enough with that. I think it should be virtually impossible to hit people when the cars are bouncing around off-road and you're trying to shoot someone. Um, because all you end up with, as they as they rightly recognise, you just have people driving around in cars killing people who are on foot. Now, now, this is interesting. 8x scope and 15 times scope. To have assault rifles not capable of full auto... To have assault rifles that are not capable of full auto more useful, scoped eight times and higher are now attachable to the M16A4 and the Mark 47 Mutant. Eight times scopes added to the M16 and Mark 47 Mutant spawned kit in arcade and team deathmatch. Right. So, this I guess means you can put the 15 times scope on the M16 and the Mark 47 Mutant. Yeah, interesting, interesting. That would be a way of balancing, actually, assault rifles, wouldn't it? You could say, actually, assault rifles can only go up to two times scopes. You know, you wouldn't be able to put, like, a four times on. Or, actually, six, probably six times above. But anyway, so you can now put an eight times or a 15 times on an M16 or a Mutant. Interesting. Four times scope reticle type. So you're now going to be able to choose your reticle on a four times scope. Added three reticle types of the four times scope to allow you to freely select and use your preferred type. Press page up, page down buttons for PC and settings for console to switch between reticle types. So ranked, seed, uh, leaderboard is resetting and they've got all the details about that. Not really interested. World, so the PG, PGC is coming up so we're going to start seeing all these posters appear. So in Destin, they've adjusted the blue zone. Uh, changing weather and available in custom matches. Jammer pack. Continue with the safe zone update above. We also decide to readjust the jammer pack to the following. The blue zone damage to the jammer pack receives increased by approximately 27%. The jammer pack can only be found as a world spawn item in Miramar, Carrick, and Haven, and Destin. Fair enough. Okay. Iron Girl. Sunset weather has been added. Available in normal and custom matches. Customized wardrobe. Preset feature improvements. Preset slots from 1 to 5 will now be shown as tabs on the wardrobe page. Well, unfortunately, I always 
aggressive is the same thing, so it doesn't matter for me. Quality of life. Carry. The carry feature can now be used or cancelled with the limited interact keys. So on PC is H, Xbox and Stadia. Yeah, not much longer. LB and X, PlayStation, L1 and Square. You can also choose to customise your keys in settings. Okay. Screen ping marker. The screen ping marker will now look more transparent the closer player weapon cross areas to the marker. The marker will be automatically removed after 30 seconds. That's a good idea. Screen ping markers were only available in normal matches and are now available in ranked matches as well. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Dev comment. The update on the screen ping marker above was based on the feedback that the screen ping marker hindered players' field of view, which it did, and aimed due to the marker's consistent transparency. Additionally, many players wish there was a limited duration to the marker once it was made and the screen ping marker's information to other modes. Fair dues. Radio message. New inventory-related radio messages have been added. Alert the number of a certain item in your vicinity or inventory. Inventory. I have one energy drink. Vicinity. I have found one energy drink. Let teammates know if you've equipped or need a specific item attachment or weapon. Equipped, equipping a one two time scope, need low magnification, magnification scope. Default wheels are click wheel for PC and L button for console, but you can also customize keys in the settings. Okay, well that's good, especially if you're playing with people whose first language is not English. Starting plane UI added the number of remaining total players to the starting plane icon to help players plan out their jumps easier. Applies to every mode. This does not apply to the combat arena plane. You can now adjust the volume of the instant volume reducer feature. Console graphic options resolution framework graphic options will appear in settings for all console devices. However, devices monitors that do not support 4K will find the options disabled. Anti-aliasing settings will only be available on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5. Interesting that we could see what, see what they actually are. So in Team Deathmatch on the arcades, you can now save your spawn kit settings. Uh, and in the workshop, new item sets have been added to the Hunter's Chest and Archivist's Chest. The Bunny Express emote special delivery, blah, blah, blah. Various UI and UX. Performance, the average cumulative memory use has been reduced when you go from the loading screen to the map to help improve loading times. In-game in performance has been optimized to help improve inconsistent frame drops. Applied a certain allocated to the latest Unreal Engine and saved additional memory on Win64 Xbox platforms. This will also help Im improve out of memory crashes on Xbox. Bugs fixes, world, items and skins. There we go interesting patch interesting patch so hmm not really sure about this one so it's good the fact that we've had a nerf to vehicle um, shooting which is good um, and uh, it's good that they are playing around with the attachments um, and I don't. I guess this is just a, this is just a mini update, isn't it? We don't really need to go into more details than that. I guess that the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the playing, and you can play this on the PC Test Seven now, and it will be coming to PC between the 11th and the 12th of October on public servers, and between the 19th and 20th of October on console servers. So I guess we yeah, look forward to that. Anyway, what do you think? Put your questions in the comments down below, and I will of course see you again soon.